You know, even though it's in October now, it is uh, hot. It is very hot. Y'all Floridians know what I'm talking about. I am sweating like crazy. I got a little air conditioner. Who cares? Going, it doesn't matter. I stand right in front of it, try to cool off. Shop's a disaster like normal. What's new? I'm just gonna kind of show you what I got going on. I'm gonna dabble in a few projects of things that I wanna accomplish, and then I'll show you if I accomplish them or not. Mainly, I want to get this engine block painted. So, I'm gonna set the oil pan on it. I've cleaned it as much as I can. They're smooth, it just doesn't look great. Got polish. Polish those, cleaned her all up. Uh, I did have it mocked up in there, as you see from my other video that nobody watched, that I uh, still haven't cleaned that. But I think I'm getting a new set of heads. The heads, everything is a mess. The heads actually cleaned up rather well. The, um, they're cleaning up. But I'm trying to get another set of heads, 799 heads. A little more power and just everything's messed that's the engine paint i'm going to be using right there i'm going to paint these valve covers you know it's a budget build so and uh that race car right there is definitely not budget my daughter and i sticker bomb the front of it holly msd speaking of holly this car right here i have ordered it i have spent the money and this car right here is getting a Holly Terminator X. I didn't do a Dominator because I plan on staying with a Turbo 400. It's just a stock transmission for now. Put a converter in it. Uh, last night, about 11 o'clock at night, me and my wife went and bought this bumper. Yes, it's orange. Supposedly came off of like a 900 horsepower two valve. Uh, chopped the front of the car. As you can see now, everything is painted. Looks good. I got the uh, tube, the, well, the K member off from the Cobra. I might put leave, you know, maybe I am not gonna put the tubular K member off my GT onto this car. Maybe I don't know. The other car has strange uh, ten ways all the way around uh, front and rear, and it has a tubular UPR K member and coilovers in the front, of course. Everybody cuts all this weight out of the car, puts a tubular K member, and then they add 50 pounds of weight back to the front of the car. So, I'm gonna try something a little different. I'm gonna try to keep my other car together because I still wanna finish that turbo build. And it's together, it probably just needs a tune, really. Uh, so I'm gonna try to build my turbo kit with this and then use these uh, iBox springs. And if the car doesn't handle well, you know, then, then I'll put the, uh, tubular front suspension on but for I'm gonna try to go stock suspension other than these goodies over here that I got from uh, the waffle John these goodies right here those I'm gonna be welding on pretty soon I want to get this motor together that way it can't rust today I hung that light right there and uh, everything's just dirty and grimy I need to clean me and my wife were talking about getting taking everything out of here and putting epoxy floors in. If you didn't know, there's a room in there. There's the loft thing in there. And behind that wall is an office. And then there's two bays. This is really a bay. All that's really a bay door. And then there's a bay door over there. Anyways, it's getting really tight. A bunch of crap. Stuff from building our house. I mean, just stuff everywhere. Right here. I was cleaning those up, push rods and everything's in there. That's one side of the head, wire wheeled everything. Trying to get everything clean, putting the motor back together. This is the color that I'm gonna paint the valve covers. It was on sale at Walmart, supposedly. And then when I went back to uh, pay, it wasn't on sale, but I still bought it. So just a mess of things. Let's see. Oh, you guys missed that sound, huh? Let's see what's outside. Okay. So yeah, that's the deal. Uh, yeah, so I ordered Holly Terminator X for this car, which I'm super psyched about. I was gonna try to use this. I guess I'm just gonna use the wires. Um, oh, I left my little fuse panel. I bought fuse panels and some w good wiring and. I'm gonna wire this car, the inside of the car, you know, it's just 
empty. Still debating on whether or not to take off that. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna have to when I put a cage in it. I'm, I'm gonna have to scrape the resin mat or whatever the sound mat. So it's all right. I think this thing will spray paint black pretty good. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to find some painters tape, tape up this engine and paint it. Get that ready at least so I can just feel like I accomplished something. I'm waiting on the Terminator X. I ordered it October um, 2nd, maybe? Second? I don't know, I ordered it sometime and it's still not here. So I called the lady, it was supposed to ship out the 21st or 22nd, so hopefully soon, hopefully soon. I still gotta put a motor together. And, but if I get the Terminator X, get the motor together, transmission in, I only need a drive shaft and uh, I'm going to get to work, so that's a little update. I'm going to just do something. I don't know if I'm going to order another one of these or if I'm just going to block this off. I'm going to clean this up. Probably needs a new seal. I don't know. We'll see. But, I mean, it does look better. I still got to order a holly pan. And, uh, that's it. Sweating like crazy. So, now I'm going to clean up the valve covers and I'm going to paint them this red color. So, it's a uh, satin enamel. Clean those up, show you how those look in a minute. I'm not gonna film that, so see you in a minute. Okay, so the clean stuff that you can't get to that's in there, I use a Dremel and these little Dremels right here, the one half carbon steel brush. Wear safety glasses. You can also use a drill and a bigger one, but it's amazing how dirty these things were and how clean you can get them. All right, y'all, I am, uh, I'm done for the night. I'm, I hit my shin on this dang old TH400 right there, hit my shin. Probably best not to wear uh, flip flops in the in the shop, but that's fine. Whatever, I hit you know. But go ahead and show you. Uh, I cleaned up the engine, so I feel a little better about that. I chose enamel satin red. It looks more orange, like than I thought it was gonna look. But uh, so there's dang. Look at that gloss. Look at that. They cleaned up rather well. Just a wire wheel, and uh, I'm gonna paint this probably black, and then we'll paint that black. The engine, it looks better, it's like a matte color, but at least it's gonna be clean to work with when I take the oil pan off. And gotta clean that up, gotta clean up all the you know, get new valve springs, and then clean up the rods and pistons. And uh, like I said, I'm selling this car if anybody wants to race quarter midgets, $2,500. I'm trying to get a couple new motors for that. And uh, so the shop's a mess. I really got to clean things up because I hurt myself and it's a disaster over there. Holly Terminator X is going in this car. The engine's coming together. If I wanted to, I could have a full UPR suspension. Like I said, we're going with the uh, stock cam member up front at first. If I don't like it, I'll take it off the other car and put the UPR cam member on there. The back is definitely getting UPR because that's pretty... Uh, important. I'm going to try to run just uh, maybe cut springs or not even cut springs because I don't know how tall the tire is going to be when I put some rims on it. I'm going to loop this Cobra rack 
and uh, put a power booster back in it out of the Cobra. I'm still in the fenders off the Cobra. I'm still in the core support off the Cobra to mount the lights. And I'm going to get a Lexon windshield. So uh, a lot of money, you know. So we're getting there. But I'm going to get this engine back together so I can start mocking up the turbo system and then fire it when the Holly does get here. I'm Dustin. This has been Dustin's Customs. And uh, I'm out of here. Bye.